In the last video, we started uh, trying to address the issue that our WKB solutions close to classical turning points uh, are no longer valid. And uh, we started trying to develop a patching solution about one of the classical turning points that we can use to connect our WKB solutions in uh, either side of this turning point. We approximated the potential by a linear function and arrived at this uh, differential equation, which is known as Aries equation, for which the general solutions are known as Aries functions, uh, typically written as AIU and BIU. We are ultimately going to be interested in matching the solution to this linear potential in this region here, where our WKB solution should match up with our patching solution. And on this side as well, where the solution to the linear potential should match with our WKB solution uh, close to this region. For that reason, we are only going to be interested in the asymptotic forms of the area functions. Since uh, close to this region, u will be much, much larger than one. And close to this region, u will be much, much smaller than minus one. So we have aiu goes like And BIU this is for uh, U much, much larger than than one. On the other side of the turning point. For AI, it takes on this form. Uh, you'll sometimes see this written as absolute value of U instead of minus U. And sometimes this will have a cosine and a minus pi over four. That's just adding an extra pi over two phase shift. So it's completely equivalent. Likewise for BI U. And this is for you much, much smaller than minus one. And again, sometimes you'll see this one uh, in terms of a sine, a sine function, but with a minus pi over four, and that's just due to an extra pi over two phase shift. So it's again equivalent. So to the left of the turning point in this, about this region over here, we expect the area functions to be approximated by these forms. And uh, on this part, on, to the right of the turning point, uh, we expect the area functions to take on this general form. And that will give us uh, our form for the patching solution, which we then have to match to Psi 2 and Psi 3. All right, so. Uh, These are our WKB solutions. So if we look at the forbidden region first, or to the right of our uh, upward, uh, if 
if, we're, if we have an upper potential, it will be a forbidden region. So to the right of our turning point. We expect this to have, so this is WKB. Okay, where this uh, kappa x is 2m h bar squared bx minus e. If you uh, plug in our linear potential over here and perform this integration and take the square root of this over here, This was C x minus x2. Uh, what we get in terms of uh, this variable u that we had defined There's a constant here. Okay, so this is our, uh, the form of our WKB solution if we're assuming a linear potential. So we're looking uh, somewhere over here. So even though it starts to not be such a good approximation anymore, it should still be close enough that uh, our WKB solution is approximately valid. And what you can see is uh, our WKB solution is starting to look a lot like the asymptotic forms of the area functions uh, when this argument u is much, much larger than one. This must match our patching solution in terms of U. Which looks something like this. And you can see that the general forms are very close to identical. And the idea is to express uh, these coefficients or rather these coefficients in terms of the coefficients of our original WKB solution. Uh, likewise, for region two, we're to the left of our turning point. Our solutions, our WKB solutions were uh, complex exponentials with this K of X. And again, uh, so here, k of x was uh, 2m 
h bar squared e minus vx. So for uh, our linear potential, Uh, or WKV solution again in terms of this variable u. So we've changed variables from u x to to u. Okay, so this is the new form of our WKB solution and our approximate linear potential. And this has to match our patching solution. Uh, for the case that U is much, much smaller than one because we're looking uh, to or much more smaller than minus one, sorry, because we're looking to the left of our turning point where u will be negative. So in this case, we saw that uh, our patching solutions will take on this form, which is alpha sine two-thirds minus u to the three-halves plus pi over four. All right, so once again, uh, we want to match this solution to this one you see that we have complex exponentials over here that we can uh, re-express in terms of sines and cosines. So we can match the value of our coefficients alpha and beta to our coefficients a and b. Okay, so in doing this for both region two and uh, region three, so we match our solutions about this point and about this point for uh, a linear potential. And this will give us uh, the complete form of our WKB wave functions that we should take uh, to uh, about the, uh, the turning point. So it'll patch up our solutions. I won't go through the details of uh, matching the coefficients. It's, it's a, a lot of algebra. So in the next video, I'll just quote the final result and uh, what that means for us, practically speaking, when we try to solve uh, problems involving bound state. So we're ultimately looking to estimate bound state energies uh, using this WKB solution.